Hey folks, welcome back. Jojo here with you. Hey, it took me a little Hoosier road trip today. And I'm here to look at a 62 Chrysler this old boy's got in this town. Uh, I think it's Big Schlong Lake or something. I'm not sure where the heck, I don't know where we're at. We're in Northern Indiana, Hoosier country, Hoosier. Check this baby out. You gotta soak this in. Look at that, huh? So what you're looking at here is a remnants. Whoa. Ah, dang. We got super trucking going on. Anyway, this is a 62 Chrysler two-door sport coupe. Not a letter car, obviously. First year Chrysler decided to water down their 300 line. Um, this car, I think, originally had a 383. They came in like a 383 or 413. I don't know, can you guys see that in there? Missing the heads. It's got the manifolds on it. Missing the grill. Oregon car. Look at there, last plated in 73. You know, here's the deal though. Usually these eyebrows for those canted headlights are all rusted out. Here's where the mirror would be the side view mirror is not mounted on the door on this car it's actually up on the fender it's kind of neat the rear view mirror right there i think they call that the rib breaker because if you you know when you hit somebody and you're not wearing your seatbelt, that that mirror rakes across your ribs on your way through the windshield you know so you gotta be careful driving one of these old cars i can't open this door because the hinges are broke. Um, we'll open the other door. You gotta check this out though, look at it. It's got all the original glass. Um, I'll try to get you in over there, show you that Astrodome. That thing is really cool. But I came here looking just to kind of look, you know, kill some time, get out in the Hoosier land, just to see what's what. Look at the rear, I mean, not terrible, not terrible. It's been resprayed. Of course, it's missing all the badging and all the stuff that makes it really super cool. You know, that's kind of sucks. This got a little bit of, look at here, got a little bit of rust in this, in this, oh, got some moss edge here. Maybe some four leaf cloverage. But hey, look at, with the tail lights removed, you can see daylight coming right through that's nice that's real nice of course tail lights if you look real close uh oh you can see the ground again that's not you know those are Chrysler things oh. I have permission from the owner to look here looks like squirrels were really keeping track of their nuts back here man but you know underneath all this nuttage I hate to say it. Oh yeah, look at there. Chrysler doing Chrysler things. That one's not bad. Yeah, Chrysler things. I hate to even hate to even admit it, but but it's not super duper terrible. I expect it. It's missing the gas tank. Dang it. Got the old eight and three quarters. They couldn't quite make a nine inch. I guess maybe they couldn't read a tape measure. So old mama Mopar made her an eight and three quarters. Let me go get my, uh, let me go back to the trunk and get my little blanket for leaning underneath vehicles. While providing insightful commentary. Voting day. Had the day off work in Hoosier land. So I decided to take a trip, man. Take a trip. Keep the content going for all my fans. When I mean my fans, I just mean my mom and whoever else stumbles upon a video such as this. All right, so anyway. Yeah, look at here. Not bad. Rocker, not bad. It had like a stainless stone shield on it at one time. Inner wheel wells aren't looking terrible, terrible. Let's see if I can get you underneath here. 
you might have to take my word for it, but I looked at the bottoms of the trunk pan, or I'm sorry, I looked at the bottoms of the of the floor pans, and you know what, man? They don't look bad. They're not really super duper bad, but this is the money shot on this car. If I can, oh yeah, look at there. Oof, Chrysler, Chrysler. They got some, but look at this. That Astrodome dashboard, isn't that just something? All the gauges are housed in that big acrylic dome and it just glows like a indigo watch when you get that baby fired up, if it works. Headliner, um, well, the headliner bows are there, right? Dash pad might clean up. It's got a couple cracks in it, Chrysler things. But help me out here, look, I mean, help me out. Optional dash clock present uh you know kind of the split bench bucket deal present uh, you know rocker panels aren't bad rocker panels aren't bad i don't know man i don't know shoot i just don't know missing a lot of trim that kind of sucks i don't want people do that stuff all the time let me see if I can get you underneath here so you can see the see the floors. See what I'm seeing. Yeah, let me see if I can get you underneath here. Check out those floors. Not terrible. Now these cars, these Chryslers are unibody, so you gotta be very careful, you know. I don't know if you can see it right. Right, right up there. Boop. That's where the torsion bar comes through. Torsion air suspension. It's kind of neat. Uh, if we look further, let me see if I can really get you underneath there. Uh, I guess there is a huge hole in the floor right there. That sucks. That's the, well, oh, and the drive shaft's missing. Nice. Look there, that's the parking brake on the back of the transmission. That's a Chrysler thing. Early, early cast iron torque fight things. Right there. I think they sell rear pans for these. Um, matter of fact, I know they do. You gotta be careful, make sure they don't hit these torque box. The rust doesn't get in the torque boxes though. That'll ruin your day. That'll shut you down. Look at here. Look at the bottom of the rocker. All the way up. Pitted. Some minor rust coloration. Let's go to the other side. Let's see if you're seeing what I'm seeing. Let's look here. Oh. Let's look here. Oh yeah, look at that. Rocker's looking good. There's the front, it's the bottom of the front trans mount, or I'm sorry, the, the bottom of the front frame horn there. Floor pan stuff. Yeah, it might be a little soft, but the upper ones don't look, the forward pans don't look terrible. Pretty sure the old 727 undercoated that for for us. That's nice. Oh. Get you back up here. Oh. Bottom of the front fender, a little roached. You know the debris from the cowl. It's leaves and stuff getting there, and then they rust out. It gets wet and it stays wet. But what are you gonna do? What a car. I don't know, man. The owner and I are back and forth on the price. He's got some other stuff here that might be worth a look. That's so I'm not a Ford guy. Two door though. California IA black plate car. Right here in Indiana. You got your signature horse collar grill. Ooh, needs a little glass. What else has he got over here? He's got a couple tri fives of various states of disrepair. You got the old fire department Ford here. It's not a bad looking truck. 
I want to draw your attention to this. Look at this Ram. Also not a bad looking truck. It's got 318. It's got, uh, I think that's got throttle body. So it'd be like an 88 or something like that. 90. I'm not really super duper sure. Full time four wheel drive. This side's looking really good, right? Oh, uh, well, you know, look at here. Boop. Dodge things. Well, and, and GM, GMT 800 things. This door kind of, Russ got to it. I think maybe the little buttons that hold that trim on or whatever got water behind them and it started to rust. I think you might be able to get a door for a Dodge. I don't know. For being northern Indiana or central Indiana, wherever the hell we're at, it's not a bad looking truck. Still got some shine on the paint. Boop. Got a little bump there. Oh. Look at there, farm truck stuff. Whoops. This one's been pretty recent on the road. Owner claims it runs good, which I can probably imagine. Look at that. LaGrange County Dodge. Interior looks good too. Let's see how many miles are on this thing. says 67,000 scanning scanning uh, mm, you got the goo no no gooey wheel pedal and scanning uh, boy I don't know I don't know it might be 67,000 look at the dash Look at the dashboard. Look at the seat. A lot of clues. Not wore all the way to, you know, all the way back here. Just this one little spot. This one little spot. It's too bad that other door is in such sad shape because look at this rocker and cab corner on this truck. Shoot. What a deal. Oh, cab still tight. <clears throat> Yeah, that might be one worth looking at. Oh, I did buy that from the guy. I thought, you know what, that's cool. You know how I like old license plate stuff. A couple more cars I want to show you as long as we're here. I talked to the owner, he said, yeah, sure, do whatever you want. Look at this baby. Before the Dodge Magnum was a station wagon, it was this crazy weird ass, like Cordoba, I don't even know, M body or whatever, freakazoid with like covered headlights from borrowed from like a 65 300 type deal. But look, this one's got T tops, man. Look at there. Ooh, Landau. Look at that. What a gem. Council, buckets. Can you guys see that? Let's see. Oh, oh, yeah. Magnum. Man, I'm sure those buckles are comfortable to sit on. Floor shifter, or a co um, yeah, yeah, floor shift, console. I have no idea what kind of engine this has. Probably like some 318 two barrel lean burn ungodly thing. You know, the other thing, ooh, Michigan, Great Lakes. The other thing that's kind of neat about this car, and I'm not sure if this is original or not. Look at those wheels. I would have to look that up. I don't know. Magnum XE. Look at that. Wow. If you can't make a performance car, just make a car look like a performance car and just load it down with just gaudy trim and vinyl top just just give it the gaudy factor times 1000 Woof. dodge magnum oh if only it wasn't a convertible notch fox body notch early one though early early let's see probably got a four cylinder let's see yeah that's early early i forget what year that is probably 83 or something 84 
couple of tri fives. I mean, who doesn't have a tri five, right? Me, can't afford it. I could, probably could afford these, but you know, only because that one's a four door, and this one is a rusted shell. Fifty five. I don't know, I'm not sure, but I think she might have spent a little bit of time, you know, hauling the mail a quarter mile or eighth mile at a time. That's where a lot of these cars ended up in the 60s, 70s. I mean, why not, right? Cheap, good basis, full frame. Might need one of those down the road, I don't know, probably not. Don't need it. Don't want it, don't need it. More door, crew cab. Man, this guy's got quite a thing. Look at there, he's got a GMT 400 doing white paint things. Just like Mighty Whitey back home. Man, this guy's got some cool stuff. But there it is, look at there. Look at that Chrysler sticking out. What a neat design. Even after 61, the 62 62 they took the fins off 61s are really cool but you know oh, i wonder if that's got 5.3 front wheel drive 5.3 might be good for a fiero swap who knows all right folks that'll do it i'm gonna get some lunchy munch head home maybe do some laundry i don't know we'll figure something out thanks for tuning in if you like what you're seeing don't forget to like subscribe share all that comment you like going to look at rusty shit boxes? You know, comment. If you don't, comment too. I put continue to watch, I guess. All right. Oof. As always, if you can't be good, be good at it. See you on the next one.